You know how I love to hike, right? You do. I love to hike, but I never thought about hiking in city heights before. You've hiked all over, like Central America. You've hiked in the <laughs> tropics. You've hiked in Europe. You've hiked but in the not northeast, not but in not heights. in city heights. <laughs> and people right in here in San Diego. Now you can a <laughs> brand new trail system. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about yeah. the city heights canyons loop trails. Brad's there. Hey, Brad. Yes. What's going on with that? Hey, that's right. And now, Dave, David, what's really cool, now they cleared out the alligators in this area, <laughs> and you can go through no these gators. canyons. That's awesome. It's a gator-free oh, is... zone. Love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see if anybody's catching on at home. You know how people right now are going, alligators in the canyon, Eric? What? No, I just wanted to say that. It's kind of funny, because you guys have cleaned this up very nicely. Uh, yeah, people are kind of like going, what? I can go hiking through City Heights? And you're like, yeah, this is something, this is one of your new things, thanks to the San Diego Foundation. But let's talk about where we're at. We're in City Heights. I, I think we're like in another area. Yeah, this is City Heights, one of the most populated, uh, diverse communities in our city. And we have built seven new trails in four canyons in City Heights to try and connect them together and create loop trails, jogging, hiking opportunities here. Um, this, this community in particular needs more recreational and open space uh, opportunities. So we literally have partnered with the community and the city to transform these canyons, get the weeds out, restore the natural habitats here, and build these trails so that they have safe, convenient access and and they can enjoy nature right in the middle of the city here. Well, I want to go back to the and this rail here that you see coming down. Uh, hopefully we can see it right there. And, and what's great about that is that this was put in because there was a steep slope down uh, to come down here. You didn't want people to get hurt, and that's something you want to do. You want people to enjoy the hiking going through here. So you guys have been doing the steps, doing the ways to get people through here. That's exactly right. We have uh, sewer paths, utility paths in the bottoms of the canyons, but the community had no way to get from top of slope to bottom of slope without falling on their keisters, if that's okay. <laughs> and and so we're creating that that link into the the trail system in the bottom of the canyon and then we're linking the canyons together these trailheads these new trailheads seven of them that we've built we're putting them together across the urban landscape across the streetscape in what we call canyon corridors or butterfly corridors wow. where people can jog and hike in several canyons by walking a few blocks on the street but on those streets we're going to have murals we're going to have native vegetation we're going to you know native plant gardens and signage and the kind of amenities so they can actually do a loop and enjoy um, the walk even if you're in on, along the street yeah this is so cool so a lot of people didn't realize this going on and people are like wondering well wow am I tax dollars going to upkeep this and say so but no this is more of volunteers and you have the different uh, you could say communities coming out and helping clear this up and keeping it clean yeah the first thing that we do is we create a friends group around each of the canyons we tell them how come these canyons are important for wildlife for water quality filtering our urban runoff before it gets to the coast um, educational opportunities we, we have nature programs for students we have partners such as Ocean Discovery Institute that will be bringing students into these canyons these City Heights canyons to learn about nature hands-on and and uh, restore our habitats and take good care of uh, this amazing ecosystem that we have in San Diego. I love it. And you can see the before and after picture of what they've been doing here. Uh, we come back in the next uh, half hour. We're going to talk with the San Diego Foundation about how they are supporting and doing this. Um, and then we'll talk with Eric about, uh, like I said, I don't want to start anything, but how uh, the different Canyon uh, volunteers are kind of like having a little competition, Carlos and David, about who has the prettiest and nicest uh, Canyon. So they're kind of like making sure those are clean and well made for people to walk through and, and appreciate. But again, it doesn't feel like we're in City Heights at all. It feels like we're, I mean, I Feel like we're out in Mission Gorge or Mission Valley or somewhere walking through and that's what they want people to do and actually these eventually will connect that way won't they exactly we're importing mission trails into city heights and, and you said it Brad it's it's to, these communities deserve access to nature as well and thanks to the San Diego Foundation and some of the funding they've given us over the years we've been able to make this happen I love it I appreciate they uh, cleared out the alligators that was one thing I was worried about coming through here with people <laughs> that's first thing that's Brad first thing right yeah yeah Alligator. first clear out the alligators love it Carlos David and I tell you are gone they couldn't have picked a better time to because a super bloom it, wherever you go whatever canyon it is yeah. in the entire San Diego County it's just gorgeous I know 
You couldn't get down to see that. When I walked down the street, I'm like, oh, my God, these are, like, everywhere. I'm like, again, they, I mean, it was so funny. They were like, hey, why don't you and uh, Mike again go out to Baringo Springs and try to find some flowers? Don't I was like, okay, so I'm in Baringo Springs right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm in Baringo Springs, just so you know. Uh, you know, right. the, the so. thing about it is allergies. Yeah. I take your allergy medication. Yeah. I'm telling you, that is the bloom, the blossoms, the pollen in the air. It's mm. just wonderful. Yeah, if it's springtime. Not, if it's not gators, it's allergies. It's allergies. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, but cool. Gators or alligator. uh, Gators or allergies get you. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> yeah. See you a little bit. All right, Brad, bit. thanks very much. That's Improvements right. will start. Uh,